What's up guys, welcome back. So, uh, Monarchs, Cash Draw Monarchs for Master Duel. Let's take a look. Um, I was so busy past week, past weeks, whenever, at least at the moment when, you know, Cash Draws were released. But now with Duelist Cup, again, some grinding. Currently, what is it, level 16? So a couple of levels uh, left. So let's take a look. Um, so I've got a couple of games from yesterday. I was only able to play for one, uh, well, not one day, but a couple of hours yesterday. And um, these were the better ones, the best ones. You also saw the build. The, um, the build is somewhat different compared to the build that I was using in real life a couple of weeks ago at YCS Dortmund. A um, couple of things that might be different for Master Duel, first of all, is Mexi. I've tried out Mexi, but not a huge fan of it. We'll come back to that in a couple of moments. Uh, oof, I, I, I've been getting Mexi so many times. But, uh, this board is really strong, especially for the, um, you know, punks. <laughs> he has Maxi and he has Ash. <laughs> he has Baron as an Omni Negation, plus he can Synchro Summon during my turn for that level 11 that bounces. But he kind of makes a small mistake, so I, you know, keep forcing out back row, uh, give information that I have an er Erebus play uh, left, and we know the trap is there that pops, right? So I, you know, was forced to use March, otherwise my Erebus would have been protected, and he preemptively uses a trap, so that's fantastic. And the only way that he could still have won this was to go for a Synchro Summon before Erebus, um, you know, hit the field. Bouncing back my stuff, right? Because as soon as Erebus hits the board, your opponent cannot go for the extra deck summon, well, if you have Domain phase up. I mean, then again, if he went, at least he would have gone for that level 11 Synchro, Amazing Punk Dragon, I believe, bounce back stuff. I can still, you know, activate them. So I don't think it would have mattered. So <laughs> Maxi, Ash, Omni Negation, and you still win. So that, that was a really cool one. Another matchup that I faced multiple times in Duelist Cup here is, of course, Labyrinth. Labyrinth is, an, is a hard matchup, especially when uh, Labyrinth gets grinding. I, I think that that counts for almost any deck. It's very hard to overcome, especially with the furnitures. And that's why I might I even get eradicated. That, that's why I might um, add in more Kashturas. At this moment, I'm still running uh, Anka Mufrit, you know, the pendulum that's basically an upstart, right? Uh, it might conflict with going second, with Stormford, you know, you can't special summon from the extra deck. If you special summon, well, if you use, at least if you want to use Stormford, that is. So it, it's kind of iffy. The, the thing is that maybe I want to go more Kashjerva oriented and drop the Anka Mufrit for uh, maybe like one Theosis extra, maybe one Birth, but that might be a bit too much, but maybe one Theosis. Um, then again, going first and having Anka Mufrit is just fantastic, simply because it's Tribute Father and it's a, it's a draw. Uh, another difference on Master Duel is the addition of Chicken Game and Upstart. I prefer Upstart, simply because the potential, um, and I've had that multiple times when I was playing Chicken Game in the past, is not being able to get rid of Chicken Game. And you might think while you're playing Domain and the Kashira Field Spell, yup, it does happen. Um, Pearly is an excellent matchup. As you know, the ex Pearly Noir, their big uh, Exceed that, you know, bounces back stuff. You can still Stormford it, even though the Exceed might have like 10 materials. Stormford affects the player, right? So again, very nice, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you can always Stormford it um, in any ways. Very similar to Misk with Dinosaurs. So Pearly and again, face multiple Pearlies. It's very hard to lose that particular matchup, unless they maybe Ash and Troll you or something like that. Um, oh, this was an okay one, I guess. Altergeist. Uh, very similar to, again, from the top of my head, uh, decks like Unchained, which again I faced multiple times here. Um, you can just outgrind them. And first of all, the Kashtera engine is so, so fantastic. Sure, it might make your deck a bit weaker to Maxi. The thing is, is that if you're playing as the good opponent, they might snipe Maxi, right, during draw phase or standby phase. But if not, try to get the Kashtera on board as soon as possible, either Unicorn or Fenrir, right? Uh, and then they might preemptively activate Maxi, thinking that you might want to special summon more, but then you just surprise them with Erebus or the, one of the Fiends, right? Preferably Vanity's Fiend. Uh, so I like Kashtaras. As you saw, and that's also a small difference compared to my in real life build, I'm playing the Kashtara, what is the Kashtara Ogre? The one that you can search from Fenrir, and that has the same Monarch stat, so you could potentially reveal it for Tenacity. And that kind of comes up. The only downside is that you don't really want to draw Ogre or open with Ogre, and that again happens. March protects my Monarchs. I'm a huge fan of March, especially here in Master Duel, where um, Duster is still there, obviously, but 
uh, having like March plus Vanity's Fiend or Majesty's Fiend is superb. Problem though is that Kashira is super popular and Majesty's Fiend doesn't really do anything against Kashira. They can summon a unicorn and attack over it, they can attack at least summon Fenrir. Attack over it, sure, they won't be used, at least they won't be able to use Fenrir, but again, during main phase 2, they might just use Birth. Cash Jaraz is a huge deal for this deck, especially when they start and put up the Exceed, um, you know, the, 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 you know, which one banishes everything. Um, you can't use uh, Tenes uh, you can't use Pantheism, and that's a huge deal. Everything gets banished, so if you don't already open with Stormfort, or maybe if you're not able to search Stormfort, then uh, it's very hard to deal with that board. Like this example, even though it's a super short one, I have whew, multiple times. Even though I, I, I think I, with, with the coin tosses, I lose more coin tosses than I win. Um, going first with this deck is superb. I think, I guess the only way this particular deck breaks is if you open multiple tributes, so like multiple Erebus, multiple Aether, uh, and uh, like no pantheisms, no Kashira engine, you know, that kind of uh, stuff. Um, because even then, let's say if you don't open Erebus or any of the fiends, you could still potentially get a domain with the Kashira being tributed, right? Uh, like here, so many times people try to go for an extra deck summon, but nope, it doesn't work. I think here I'm getting Maxeed as well. So this is one of the examples where, again, your opponent should probably Maxi you. Um, draw phase, stand my face, also to play around uh, talents. Um, I, I, I'm not speaking of talents. I'm not a huge fan of talents in this deck. It's way, way too passive. Um, I was playing Change of Heart uh, earlier, but again, I, I don't think it's optimal. You want to go first. Same for Maxi. Maxi is uh, again being on Master Duel. Sure, it's cool going second. It, kind of is terrible going first and again you are playing in a deck that wants to go first and the thing with Maxi is, is it's never resolving it either gets ashed it either gets call bites and you might think well yeah they're probably you know will be ashing your other cards during your turn and that's definitely the case and that's why the Kashtura cards are there uh, let's say if your opponent wants to use Imperm or Ash or whatever on your Kashtura cards that's fine because as, as long as they don't or won't um, you know, use their hand traps on a monarch effect or, or on pantheism, you, you'll be fine in most situations. This is a cool one. Use Aether first, chain Stormfort. So here Stormfort goes into effect, letting me tribute his um, blue boy and my Erebus. And then, you know, the spell look of knowledge might fizzle. So it won't resolve uh, unless he, you know, discards like, what is it, a spellcaster or a spell book spell card. So again, going first, like, like this is superb. And that's one of the reasons why I, you know, prefer Ogre, Ogre as well in the main deck, even though it's super iffy. Uh, because of this, like, Special Summon Unicorn, Search Theosis, Use Theosis, Special Summon Kashtira Fenrir, Fenrir Searches Ogre, Use Tenacity, potentially draw and put up feed. Like, this is murder against most of the decks. If they, if they have Duster, that's fine, you still have Fiend. If they have Lightning Storm, uh, that's fine, your Tribute Monsters will survive. If they, you know, choose or opt to destroy your monsters, they have to destroy back row. So I, I, I'm a huge fan of March, especially in Master Duel format. I'm, I'm actually contemplating on main making more March in Master Duel. Because it's such a, such a big blowout. And I like the interactions, going first, Kashira Fenrir or Kashira Unicorn, use Anka Mufrit, get it on board, make sure you go for the Kashira first and then Anka Mufrit. Um, like these are the hands I was talking about, right? Multiple tributes, I, th I think then is a sweet spot. Um, but Majesty's Feet, I'm not so sure in Master Duel, simply because again, Kashira can just attack over it. In rare occasions, there are decks that, you know, that s struggle with Majesty's Fiend, but Vanity's Fiend is a superior one. And I, I've might, or this, I was already thinking about other options that prevent special summoning, looking at Vanity's Ruler or even Christia, but I'm not so sure about that. So this is the current build. The cards that I'm contemplating on switching are Anka Mufrit for more Kashira cards, and maybe even Return for more March. So again, feel free to leave feedback. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Big you signing out. Peace.